Welcome everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at my Bumblebee Aquarium right here. Now this aquarium was originally set up for my Bumblebee Gobies in there and it was set up as a sort of a mangrove style aquarium. Uh, as you can see over the weeks and months that it's been set up, this has drastically changed. So the first thing you'll notice is that there is a lid on the aquarium compared to what it was. Uh, I did have two mangrove trees sticking out of the tank and I had a spotlight up here or a floodlight which was growing the trees really well. Just unfortunately over time and uh, a few wrong conditions I guess the trees sort of died off so I decided to take them out. Most of the conditions here are perfect for life forms to multiply and thrive in. All of this algae and detritus becomes feeding materials for small copepods, small little shrimps and fish so it's a really good natural source of food right there. I think would look really cool in this tank is if I got some Amano shrimp as well in there. Uh, it's something I'm sort of thinking about maybe doing. Although these bumblebee gobies are classed as brackish fish, these ones have been bred in fresh water. So this is just a freshwater aquarium at the moment. There's no salt in the water. So I could still have some shrimp in there. And yeah, I mean, over time I might turn it into a, a brackish type tank, but it seems to be working really well as a freshwater. The fish I haven't seen any issues with. The one thing I did notice was that the bumblebees clearly are enjoying the new look of the tank because ever since I've done this, they seem to have colored up a hell of a lot better. So it's just a case of, I think, more hiding spots and the plants probably to sort of help in make the colors pop as well. But look at those fish. They look absolutely stunning, don't they? Especially swimming through the hornwort right there. I'm really hoping one day these fish will breed and I can just have a lot of uh, baby fry from these bumblebees. It would be really cool to try and see if I could do that. I mean, I think I should add some more plants. What do you think I should add? Maybe let me know in the comments section down below just to sort of see or any other changes that you think I could make to this to make it look a bit more sort of like a brackish environment, but I think it's looking pretty cool so far. And like I said, these fish are just absolutely stunning looking. So yep, yeah, just a quick update. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And until next time, you stay safe.